What's up YouTube, it's Vapa Monkey, and I'm finally settled in at my new place. This is similar to what it's going to be like when I film from now on, except maybe I'll add some stuff in the background so that it's not just blank. But I just moved in, finally settled in, and uh, I'm going to do a short, quick review of the Royal Hunter Mini RDA. Um, and uh, that's it. I'm going to take it up close. I'm going to show you the packaging and take it out and show you the RDA. I already have a coil belt in it, but I'm going to pull the cotton out so that you can see the deck. So uh, without further ado, let's take it up close and check out this RDA review. Okay, so when you purchase the Royal Hunter Mini, this is the case. Council of Vapor, little authenticity sticker, uh, their Facebook, it's underneath the cereal bar right here. And okay, so there's the RDA. Open it up like so. It's in a little box. It's got this fancy little fold going here. All you do is, uh, oh, there you go. There's their Facebook. You can see that. Okay, open it up. And we have the RDA. All right, so there's your packaging. And you got your tools. Comes with, uh, some extra grub screws, some extra O-rings, and an Allen wrench. I like that they did the Allen wrench, because, well, obviously everybody knows that they don't back out. You get this little book. It says, Wide Bore High Flow Drip Tip. Open it up, and it has a little instruction manual, and shows you some of the basic things that you need to know. Okay, then you get a little Council of Vapor, and then you got one of those little barcodes. Visit us on Facebook. That is the packaging. Okay, now let's get to the RDA. Let's pop it out. Um, out the box it comes with a black drip tip. I put the white one on though. Um, these drip tips are acrylic. And it has a honeycomb spitback mesh. On the bottom of both the white and black all right and uh, we'll screw that back on just to help me take this off grab something here okay pop it off all right so here is the deck it is a 2.5 millimeter well you have those that quad post design there for easier coil builds. All right. I have a 0 0.12 ohm build in here right now, 22 gauge. Two millimeter post holes. So nice big holes for nice low ohm builds. Let's take this off. And then on the bottom, see if I can get this focused in so you could see it. Let's see has really nice detail on the bottom and then you have your if you could see that the serial number in the corner um, I believe this is silver plated copper but I also couldn't find out whether or not that was silver plated copper or brass I'm just not sure but who knows it hits damn good so uh, yeah that's that alright pop that back on all right now let's show you the airflow it's uh, a little tricky without over tightening this drip tip because the drip tips screw on and the threading is all right it's not bad but you gotta like grab this little ring on the top and hold it and then you can turn it and it's really snug like right now it's really tight because i gotta i just washed it if you put a little e-juice it's actually easier but um, you can only run this in dual coil. There's no single coil options. And um, basically, as you adjust 
to each air hole setting, you're given a little slot underneath for more airflow from these three lines. See, there's the airflow control at half. All right, so basically I'm having one hell of a time adjusting this, but you get the idea. Okay, and same on the other side. And you can see those little holes. If you turn it just a little bit, you can cut the holes off, leaving just the bottom open. But if you turn it a little further, you'll have just these two holes open and this one closed off and then the bottom open. And it's the same on both sides. So the airflow is a little different, but nothing crazy going on there. All right, so I believe that covers everything. The airflow is pretty cool on this thing. And so the full dimensions of this RDA uh, top to bottom, it is 21.9 millimeters long. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say about this RDA. It's, it's a fairly simple, super compact RDA. Uh, let's take it back up to FaceTime and close it up. Alright, so that was my up close on the Royal Hunter Mini RDA. Um, it's a pretty badass little RDA, and uh, I'm quite blown away at the fact that you can throw such low sub-ohm builds in this, and it vapes so well, and it handles it damn good. Um, just keep your lips away from the uh, top cap and on that acrylic drip tip, and you'll be good to go, because that thing gets mighty hot if you build any lower than 0.2 ohms. Hell, even 0.2 ohms and higher uh, if you fire it enough and you chain vape it. But um, anyway... That's all I have for today, and uh, I'll be doing another review this weekend or this week, so keep your eyes out for it. I'm going to be doing the Coilmaster version 2 kit, and um, before I go, this comes in stainless steel, black, green, and Tiffany blue, also white. So uh, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description where I purchased it for a pretty feasible price, and also other places where you could get it. Uh, if you'd like, give me a like, comment. Subscribe, that would be awesome, or uh, follow me on my Twitter. My handle is attached to my channel. But uh, that pretty much covers everything. Till next time, I'm Vaping Monkey, and like always, keep your cotton wet. <laughs>